Hey guys, so we are here with our newly certified Black woman, a Christian life coach, Coach Andrea Stone. Say hello to the people. Hello, hello. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. So glad to be here. Thank you so much for having me, Dr. AJ. Thank you for saying yes. As you know, we uh, hand select a few of our coaches who successfully complete our Black Woman Christian Life Coach Certification Training Self-Study System that can be done online in one day. So we are here to, we're showing people what's possible because the most commonly asked question I get is, one day? How can I do this in a day? So, you know, whether or not you finish in a day, not the point. We're going to talk about how you made it through and just talk to people who have questions and are a little curious about how it's actually done and who's done it. Is that cool with you? That's cool. Okay. So start out, let's tell the people who you are. Okay. Well, my name is Andrea Stone and I am a newly certified Black woman Christian life coach. And I am super excited to be a part of this community. Um, Just in short, I'm a wife, I'm a mother, I'm an author, um, I'm an entrepreneur, um, got a lot of great things going on in my life. Um, I'm actually in a blended family. I often tell this story because people can hardly believe it. Um, I'm my husband's second wife, he's my second husband. And between us, we have nine children and 29 grandchildren and counting. And so I have a very big family that I love. Um, I'm an emeritus pastor. My husband and I are no longer pastoring. We're kind of just sitting in the backdrop. And uh, my son is now pastoring uh, the church and it's going beautifully. And honestly, I'm really enjoying this emeritus journey. Um, It's a whole lot different from being out front, but it has allowed me to be released into some other areas that God has called me to. Um, I'm an evangelist by anointing. Um, I I, I don't know if I stated, but I am an author. I wrote a book called Let's Go Fishing, a evangelism manual. Um, But I love to pour into the lives of women. Um, I have a women's conference that I do every year called Saved and Still Standing. It's been running now for about five years. But I love to just pour, pour, pour into women, into youth as well. By profession, I'm a guidance counselor, um, have been for the last 10 years, have been a director of counseling. And so I just have a myriad of things that I do, but I love to help people, love to reach the community for Christ and love, as I stated earlier, to pour into the lives of women. So that's in short, is kind of who I am and uh, what I love to do. Oh my goodness. You said <laughs> Mouthful. You know, we still processing those nine children and 29 grand, girl. <laughs> listen, listen, at Christmas time, it is crazy. Um, oh, in the holiday season, I have 10, Dr. AJ, 10 of them that are eight years old and under. Oh my gosh, I bet that is so fun. I love little people that can have full conversations. <laughs> <laughs> These little people will amaze you. They are, uh, and what I do every year, I get them. If I buy one, buy it for one, I get it for all of them. So mm-hmm. this past Christmas, it was the scooter year. So everybody, oh you my gosh, I can just, <laughs> I can just, <laughs> I can just be like a buggy full of scooters. Like that is my dream Christmas with oh. all of these little ones scooting around. I bet you guys have a ball. I <laughs> am single, no kids, but I am one of 29 plus grandkids. So I will be one getting the scooter. Okay. I don't know about giving them all, but I will be somewhere scooting. Uh, And it's funny because my family did something like that for me and my cousins. I'm the baby of our generation. And we all got matching 10 speeds one year for Christmas. So, and they they were all the same color. So, you know, it was a time trying to figure out whose bike was who. So I totally get it. Oh yes. my gosh, and nine children, and you look so young. You have Thank done so you. well. You know they Thank say black you. don't crack, so we it we crack. Here, right? <laughs> we just reinvent ourselves and try to think okay. of another way to be fabulous. And so, right. <laughs> as long and as we have, <laughs> we have another coach, um, Andrea Harris. So if I call you Andrea, forgive me, because then I'm Andrika. So thank you for pronouncing your name the way I need to pronounce my name. So I hear the Ann and the Ika. So I will definitely get it right from this point on. This is our first time really having to chat, chat. 
and uh, me actually hearing you pronounce it. So thank you for um, just, man, everything that you represent as a pastor, like you said, I love how you said evangelist by anointing. Yes. I know that's right. Walking in that calling as an author, a pourer into her of women and youth, as you mentioned, and then your, your counseling job, because that's one thing that sticks out to people. They want to know the difference between coaching and counseling, or they say, you know, I'm working on becoming a licensed counselor or my master's in social work. So where does life coach certification fit in? And that's what I wanted to talk about Uh, a little bit more, what was that thing that while you are anointed and you have degrees and you have titles and you have this big family of just love and abundance and overflow, why did you want to become a Black woman Christian certified life coach on top of all that? (laughs) Well, um, that's a great question. I think a lot of it had to do with um, this metamorphosis, right? that we all grow into and we seem to encounter in our lives. Um, It's said that people have a good three careers or four careers in them. In other words, where you start out is not always where you will end up. And so as my life continued to progress and I accomplished those different things that I had an opportunity to do, I still felt like there was more, like there was another level, a different phase and another platform that God was opening up to me. I just couldn't put my finger right on it, Um, but I knew that there was something else. And so this year, uh, the end of 2021, coming into 2022, was a beautiful year for us. Um, Our our family was blessed to, uh, I'm living in my dream home. We were blessed to build a home and blessed to, you know, just kind of go through some different transitions there. The ministry was handed over in early 2020. I I mean, sorry, late 2020. So we, we had that transitional period, but I just felt like that transition and that metamorphosis for me was still moving. It was still going. And I felt like God was saying, there's more, right? I've got more for you. I've got more people for you to impact. I've got more people for you to help uh, build. I've got more for you to do. Because a lot of times in ministry, you can get lost in that first lady thing, right? That whole first lady persona and you know you're going with all of that and you're you're at all of the extravagant uh ceremonies and all of those things but even in those women there are places that that you feel that God I know that you're calling me to my own personal thing and the thing that you have anointed me to do and so I felt that that more right? I felt that metamorphosis coming. And I said to my husband, when we got this house, I said, you know, I'm going to build me a babe cave. It's going to be my room. And me and God are going to have that room. And and some things are going to happen in that room. And when I tell you in my babe cave, and incidentally, I'm not in there today um, during this interview, but 99.9% of the time I'm in that room. And as I was in that room, the spirit of the Lord began to speak to me. The spirit of the Lord began to talk to me and Um, ideas came and I began to write things down and I just knew that's all I could say I knew that there was another level and 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 God was is transitioning me into something else and so that's how I landed on life coaching and it seemed to be such a comfortable this is so comfortable for me it's like a garment it's like my favorite robe Um, it's a very very good fit for me and so I'm so grateful to uh, Dr. AJ for having her program. And I think um, the other level to that is that it spoke to who I was. I'm a black Christian woman. And a lot of times my reach is to that black Christian woman. That is who I talk to. That is who I reach to. Those are the women who call my phone. Those are the women who call me and and cry in the middle of the night and that we pray through and talk through and all of those kinds. Those are the women I impact. And so this was such a perfect fit for me that it was, um, I I could not deny the fit, um, if that makes sense. I just could not deny. I'd seen nothing else like it in the market. And I had been searching. I had um, actually had Uh, maybe two or three other um, companies that I had reached out to because I I felt the pool and I wanted to be strategic and I wanted to be intentional. And um, I had some other programs reach out to me. They were good programs. You know, I really listened, but it was just something down in my Noah, something down in my spirit that was saying, "Mm, 
not yet. No, not them. But when I talked to Dr. AJ and we had a conversation and I saw her program, uh, my belly leaked. Okay. My belly leaked. And, and when I say my belly leaked, when Elizabeth talked to Mary and she told Mary about the, the, the baby that was in her womb, the Bible says that, that the baby leaked in her womb as she began to declare, um, who, who, uh, who God was and what God was getting ready to do in Mary's life, her baby leaked. And that's what happened in the conversation when I talked to Dr. AJ, my, my baby leaked. It, it, it was like, that, that's it. And so that's really how I got here. All right now, Pastor, you bringing a <laughs> word on today. That's using the truth. That Noah. And speaking of Noah, that's how we met in <laughs> the group with our coach who uses that word so often. And it was such a blessing for just our paths to be aligned. And I feel like you knew in your Noah in that moment after, I think it was hearing me on her podcast. Yes. And you said, yes. yes. Let's talk about that journey um, of what led you to me or how our paths crossed because, you know, now we know who you are. We know a little bit about your background. We are starting to understand why you wanted to become a coach. Um, and I hear a little bit about you knew who you wanted to help because that's another question we get. You know, how do I pick a niche or um, can I help this this uh, organization? Can I help this type of person? Can I do that? And you kind of came in with an understanding of who you wanted to help. Um, but let's talk about that because you had this in the back of your mind and one day you're sitting and listening to the podcast, your baby leaps. What was that next step that led you to um, the International Center for Life Coach Training, LLC, and kind of why, more on why you picked us. Um, actually, you're going to laugh at this, but this is the truth. Um, when I was listening to the podcast and I heard you speak and my baby leaped, I dropped the phone. It scared me. And it scared me because it was speaking so profoundly to me that, you know how when you ask God for something, God actually does it. And then you're like, okay, what just happened? And that's really was my initial response. I cut it back on. I listened uh, to the rest of the broadcast and um, I actually shared it with one of my girlfriends. And I said, you got to listen to this. And she listened for about 10 minutes. She said, you got to call her. You got to call her. And so I, I said, okay, yeah. I said, this is, this is it. She said, yeah, this sounds exactly what you've been looking for. And um, that night, incidentally, my husband was in the hospital that night. Um, we have been going through some things in his body, but he's getting better, praise God. But he was in the hospital that night. And so I sent an email and I kind of, um, as you later said, followed the breadcrumbs until I was able to shoot an email or a phone number or something like that. And I called. And by my surprise, Dr. AJ called me back. Now, this, this was uh, very surprising for me because I, I don't know about you, but I've been in contact with a lot of people, but never, hardly ever, the uh, actual CEO of the company, you know, to just call you back. And mind you, it was about 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night that she called me back. And so we had a great conversation. I felt the vibe, as they say, I felt very connected to this uh, program. And I knew at that moment that, you know, yes, this is what I need to be doing. This is, this is the direction that I need to go. And so that's how I made the decision to actually go ahead with um, the Black Woman Christian Life Coaching Certification. Oh my goodness. I did not know that part about you dropping. You didn't tell me all that in our conversation. Now. <laughs> Yeah, I dropped the phone. It scared me because, you know, seriously, though, when you ask God for something and we know, you know, we, oh, I know he'll do it, you know, <laughs> and then when he does it, you know, it kind of, sometimes it'll catch you off guard. You weren't ready for it so quickly. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, I dropped the phone. It scared me. It, like, 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 oh, my God. Yeah. And it, 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 it was, it was great. I, I man, I know we gonna get to where, where, you know, God has taken me. It's, it's been a phenomenal journey already. 
Yeah, and I love that you had a support system because it reminds me of my friend who got me to go through the same training that she went through to get certified as a coach. So having like that business bestie, that girlfriend that you could share, like, girl, listen to this. Do you hear what I hear? Like, what is God speaking to your spirit? And for her to confirm what you heard, you called. The funny part was I was on the phone uh, with one of my coaches and she was wondering why I was so quiet. What you didn't know is I had her on mute talking to the other people while I was talking to you and we uh, talked and I couldn't believe your story. I'm like, this lady is sitting in the ER with her husband calling me, talking to me late at night about registering for this class. She is so serious. And I knew in that moment in my Noah that what my other coach had taught me, you know, his thing is following the breadcrumbs. So he's just like, leave out videos, leave out podcasts, put a path for people to find you, that it worked. It was working in that moment. And I knew you were serious. And I said, so I'm going to share her story with the future coaches who are like, well, I don't know. And I'm going to let me tell y'all about, well, there's several of y'all who have these amazing stories, but yours stick out because it's so recent. And just coming from no excuses. I know this is God. It's been confirmed. Like you said, I've prayed, I've asked, I've got it. It shocked me so much that it scared me, made me drop my phone, but I got to do it. I got to push through it. And as soon as we hung up, perfect timing. Cause then my coach was calling me like, Dr. AJ, you're quiet over there. Why have, and I had to say, coach, you will never believe. And so I shared with her and she was like, that's what I'm talking about. So we had a whole conversation and she can coach for hours. And so we we were doing our annual meeting of the minds. And so she had enough of the other coaches to distract her while I was talking to you, taking our other coaches advice. And one thing just led to the other, another. And before I knew it, you were signing up. And I think you were that that last sign up that took us out of 2021 and brought us into the new year celebrating coaches yeah, who were like yeah. saying yes to where they knew God had been calling them to for years so let's yeah. talk about that because you said yes you signed up what was the black woman christian life coach certification self-study training process like for you because that scares a lot of people too who say you know i'm a live in person person or i need accountability or you know they're scared mm-hmm. to do it on their own they're not really independent studiers or so they think walk them through what your training process was like for you The training process for me was um, a smooth process, Um, but I do want to say that you have to be determined to complete it, right? You have to have that uh, mindset that, listen, this is what I want to do. This is what I need to do. This is what I must do in order to get to the next place, which is what coaching is really all about. It's about getting from point A to point B. So in this moment, you got to coach yourself. Right. And you got to say, I got to get from point A to point B. I got to get this done uh, by any means necessary. And I just want to share this quick testimony with you that what happened in between my coaching, because it is a a day coaching. But for me, as I stated, my husband was going through some things in his body. And then I had a issue that happened in my body where I had to go to the ER and had to have a boil uh, lanced. Okay, and it knocked me down, right? It put me on my butt, um, no pun intended. But God is so good because it did that, it made me lay down. And so here I am with the laptop <laughs> in front of my face. I'm laying down because now I can't move. Can't nobody ask me to cook nothing. Can't nobody ask me to uh, do anything. And, and my son and his family was here from South Carolina. And so I had a house full of company, but couldn't nobody bother me, right? God is good. And so I laid there in the bed and I went through the the different trainings and I was just determined. And one night my son came in my room and I I had fallen asleep on one of the videos and he just picked my laptop up and put it to the side and just kind of tucked his mama in like, girl, you're going to get this thing done. You're trying to kill yourself getting this thing done. And uh, but I was committed to it. The information was good. It was robust. Um, Do not underestimate it just because it says uh, 
you know, eight hours or you can complete it in a day, you can. I took my own personal journey a little bit longer. Um, and that was by choice because I wanted to really um, <clears throat> dig in to some things. I wanted to be sure that I understood the concepts and the, the uh, trainings that you were providing. Uh, some things I had to go back and rewatch. And again, this was my own, uh, by my own volition. So, um, but I took my time in the process. And um, as soon as my son and his family left, the next day I took my test and, and um, I, I was certified, um, not just by the test, but of course I had to have my, uh, my uh, different coaching sessions, but I took my exam, I was ready. And um, I feel like this um, program helped me to be ready. It designed everything that you will possibly need it taught you how to set up meetings, how to what you should be saying in your meetings and your calls. I mean, it was just it literally it sits in my drawer to my right. If I have a question, I, I open it. It's, it's my Bible and uh, for life coaching. And so I hold it up and I'm flicking through the pages because there's several things that that you're going to highlight, several things that you're going to circle. Um, there's things that I have up in the corner that says use this and I circle it and all of that. But I really took to heart this training and I really took to heart um, this next journey that I was about to embark upon because you have to look at it like this. You're impacting people's lives. You don't want to give out garbage, right? You don't want to give out uh, anything that's substandard. You want to do your absolute best. And if this is the foundation of your training, it's like this. And I tell my youth this all the time. If you lay the foundation, you can build up as high as you want to build, right? I can lay a foundation. Long as I, I put that foundation strong enough, I can add another room. I can put another room to the back. I can add another floor and I can just keep building. And so this training is your foundation. You can always build upon it but this foundation needs to be solid. And I think Dr. AJ put that in this training. She ensured that your foundation was solid. She gave you the tools and uh, everything that you will need to be able to build as high and as far and as wide as you would like to build. Wow, this is so good. So you were laid up on the sofa, couldn't do nothing, couldn't go nowhere, got a Ow. whole support squad cheering you on and coming you up at night and yes. watching you go through this process and you did it yes. what surprised you about the training like what were you surprised to discover or find out uh in the training I know you had your expectation set to complete it by a certain day whether it was a day or whether you took your time and went through the self-study process but what's that one thing that jumps out at you about the training that totally surprised you um, I think the wealth of information about coaching was the one thing that that really surprised me. Um, as I stated earlier, I'm a counselor by uh, profession. I'm a uh, licensed or um, I have my certification to be a, a school counselor. I have my master's um, in school counseling. And so for me, this was a, a careful journey, right? So I mixing counseling with coaching, you know, like, like what was the difference? How could, you know? I, and so I had to really learn how to separate the two. Um, and so for me, I, I feel like the training really helped to do that. So if there's anybody that's coming from a counseling background, a social work background, a psychology background, those kinds of things, there is a separation. And um, I like the separation, actually. I really do like it. And I do like that I do have that counseling background. So I'm able to decipher when a client is speaking to me if they're really looking for counseling or are they looking for coaching. And so for me, the wealth of information on coaching was what really surprised me. And the fact that I got to actually hold it in my hand, I had the document there. There's also another book that um, Dr. AJ um, uh, gives to those that are part of the class. And so I had those two and I'm reading those two. So for me, it was the wealth of information. That is so good to hear because um, we do have a lot of therapists, clinicians, mm -hmm. other coaches who have certified in other trainings like health and wellness or nutrition or relationship or finance. And they're wanting to add a deeper dive as a coach. And so they too are curious about the difference between the counseling, the coaching, the psychology. One of our future Black Life coaches said, should I take psychology courses in addition to the certification? So the, like you said, when you get that foundation built, you can go as high as you want. I love that you now know how to cipher through like, you know, do they need coaching? Do they need counseling? 
or like one of our coaches in Texas, she said, you know, the reason I signed up for your training is because counseling can only take me so far, literally, like I can't counsel them outside of my state guidelines, but coaching allows me to reach global networks and have a global impact. And I love that. And the fact that you are using them simultaneously, but you know how and when each one comes into place based on the wealth of knowledge that's in the training. That is such good news. Um, What about hacks? Any type of learning hacks? Because just because there's a lot of information doesn't mean that everybody who takes the training is going to absorb it you know, without having to see it again and again, or maybe having two different sources to get information like two books, handbook, workbook, trainings, audios, worksheets, step-by-step, that could be overwhelming. So any type of training or learning hacks or tips you'll give to those future Black women's Christian certified life coaches? Um, One of the things that I, I would encourage is setting up things the way you want to actually operate, right? So they, the old folks used to say, uh, start out how you're going to be able to, you know, carry out, how you're going to be able to keep going, how you're going to be able to hold out, right? Start out how you're going to be able to hold out. And so I think um, with this, one of my greatest tips that I'm learning in, in this coaching business is I'm setting up procedures and processes so that it, it goes that way each time, right? So I have one step, I start here, I do this second, I do this third. And so it's helping me to kind of get a rhythm, if that makes sense, and get a um, blueprint for how I want things to roll out. And as I do it, I'm learning more and more, okay, that works, that works, that works, or that doesn't work, you know what I mean? Things like that. So I think that would be the, the main thing is having some sense of organization and processes and procedures to your coaching that I think will help you in the long run. I like that. Start out how you intend to hold out, or as we say it, just to set those intentions, you know, like, you know what your schedule is like or what you want it to be like, or you know how you like to learn, or you know how much time you're really able to stay alert mentally throughout the day. So just setting those intentions like you did, I'm going to finish this training at my own pace, whether day or whether you take longer, just putting it in your mind that this is the end goal and I'm going to make it through. So thank you for those tips and hacks because a lot of people are curious. And um, I just did a video recently sharing how to successfully complete the course as far as uh, 10 tips on like, if this were me taking this training, here's what I would do. And that setting intentions is literally number one of 10. So you are confirming some things. You're right on the money with that. (laughs) Um, Wow. (laughs) <laughs> yes. And it's like the best advice we can give. So what was your favorite part about the Black Woman Christian Life Coach Certification self-study training? I think some of my favorite parts, uh, one in particular was the the um, sheets that I could use, right? That said, print this page. <laughs> that has saved my life, literally, um, in my discovery calls and the different things that I needed to do with coaching. Um, that's to me, one of the main things that I could actually go back and if I'm ever kind of wondering, okay, what question am I going to ask? <laughs> um, it was lots of questions. There were a list, a ton of questions that you can ask during the coaching sessions. And you know what, Dr. AJ, that was important to me. And I think you and I spoke about that when we were um, on our call. We spoke about that. Um, I wanted to know, is there any uh, tangible things that I can have, any curriculum, any anything like that that I can use. And um, you, you assured me that it was. And sure enough, when I got the product and I had a copy in my hand, it, those things were there. And they have been extremely helpful for me. They've been extremely helpful. And I love how you refer to it as your Bible. Like you said, you open your drawer, you pull it out. And that that's literally what I did with my first coaching clients. I would have my materials printed out, sitting in my lap, coaching them live. Like they would see me read and I would tell them I'm a new coach. I'm going to be reading from this book. They didn't care as long as they got yeah. their breakthrough, right? <laughs> so, yes, they come I ready. Know. Yes. And I knew to make it clear on this is what you're going to need with those papers in the lap moment or papers where you're looking like you're not reading on camera moments. And so, yeah, that's what led me to say, hey, coach, go ahead and print this, you know, have this in your hand ready for the call, Um, because when you can flow 
that is going to determine the success of your calls. And I know you've had several calls set up and we're going to talk about that soon because you are having some of the most quickest success I've seen in this training, like immediate turnarounds. And so we're going to get to that in a minute. But first, I want to know about that one aha moment or that takeaway from the training. Now that you've got your coaching Bible in your hand, you know how to successfully conduct a coaching conversation. You're setting up discovery calls. You're complete as a Black woman, Christian certified life coach. What was that aha moment or that takeaway from the training that you can always look back and say, because of this training blank, fill in that blank for me. Because of this training, I'm able to help women go to the next level in life. I'm, I'm there to help, um, help them talk through those solutions help them to get the answers that they really have within them. Um, we're not there to give the answer, which I really love um, about that, uh, about this program is that as a coach, you're not there to answer the question for them. You are there to assist them in the process, to help them to dig through, peel back the layers, get underneath there. You're there to help them do it. But in the end, they're really answering their own question and they're really, um, coming to their own solutions. And so the aha moments, I've had people say, I didn't really think about that. I, I can't believe I just said that. I, but yeah, that's really how I feel. And, and it makes me feel good because it, it, I feel like that through my training, through the techniques that I was taught in the training, it helped me to help them to get to those solutions and those answers. And those have been great for me. Um, getting the aha moments, uh, having the customer or the client to say, man, that I didn't think about that, man. Yeah, I need to really, you know, and it, those are the moments that I live for personally as a coach. I love them to get it because if they get it, then they make the next step. They take the next step in, in uh, making sure that their life is going in the direction that they want it to go in. They make, they make sure that they take the next step to, to go to this next level that they really want to have. I don't create their next level. I don't come up with, hey, you know, I'm the genie in the bottle and you rub the bottle and I'm going to give you the answer. No, the answer is within you. And if you discover the answer, if you discover what your next uh, step needs to be, then you're intentional about it because you came up with it. And then there's no backlash on me like my coach told me I need to do this. No, no, no. I came up with that. I, they just co-signed and helped support and helped to get me to the next level. So for me, that's been my greatest aha moments uh, during during this uh, time of, of coaching clients and um, going through the program is learning that the client really does have the answer within them. You're there to help pull that out and help them to develop it. Right. And what did you learn or discover or maybe rediscover about yourself going through the self-study process um, of the training? Because a lot of people say, you know, when you say self-study, you really mean self-study. So anything that pops out at you or comes to mind that you learned or discovered or rediscovered about you while going through the Black Woman Christian Life Coach Certification Self-Study System? Um, I, I, I'll tell you what I, I did discover that I didn't really know. And it's strange. It's, it's like I should have known, <laughs> but I didn't know. I didn't know how much of an influence I had in the women around me and abroad. So when I launched the Purpose by Design, the, the outpour was amazing. That's what I, I didn't know that. I thought, okay, you know, I impact women. I love to impact women. And I'm not saying this to be like from a brag point. I'm saying this from, I discovered that I really, <laughs> this is my niche. Like I really have a niche here. And um, for me, that, that's what I discovered. I don't know if that is appropriate answer, but that's what I discovered. That's strange. <laughs> Does that make sense? But that's, what's it, that's what it's about, um, discovering what's within you. And it can kind of scare you. Like you said, like one of those phone dropping moments. Like, God, yeah. I just didn't know, you know, this is what it looks like. Or like me and my business, Bessie used to always say, I wonder what it looks like when we get there. And to get a glimpse of what there looks like with people responding <laughs> to your impact, I know that could be like, really? Like that's been in me all along? Like I could have been done this, you know? Right, right. 
I so, can been doing this. And there's a person who's listening right now, and they're they're there. They they want a glimpse into what's possible. I know you've created, you know, your coaching platform. You've seen the impact that becoming a Black woman Christian life coach has on that impact and going global, having a bigger reach, more influence, increasing that income. So what would you tell a future Black woman Christian certified life coach who's kind of on the fence or they're still lurking? They maybe want to make that phone call like, I wish I could talk to her or what would I ask her? And they're thinking about it or as they like to excuse themselves out of the conversation by saying, let me go pray about it. Mm. What would you tell that future Black woman Christian life coach? I would tell them to, I, I really would tell them to do it. To if, if you feel like this is something that you have been praying about, that you have been asking God to give you direction on, and you're, you're ready, do it. Just take the leap. Take the leap of faith. And that's what faith is. It, faith does not, um, we don't need faith if we know the answer. We don't need faith if we, you know, have that thing tangibly in our hands. That's what faith is. It's the substance, right, of the thing that we hope for. And it is the evidence of the thing that we don't see. And so this is a leap of faith. But God being our strength, God being our help, this being a Black woman Christian certification, you have all your sisters around you. You have the support of the community. Um, you have the support, hopefully, of those around you. And, and even if you don't, um, I think that most of us have reached that point in our life where we say, listen, this needs to be about something that I need to do, that I want to accomplish. And so when you come to that conclusion that, listen, it's my turn. We, we are mothers. We are wives. We're grandmothers. We are nurturers by nature. We take care of so many other people. But it is time to show up for you. It is time to show up for you. It's time for you to do something that you want to do and you feel led and called to do. It's your turn, sister. It is just your turn. So take your turn. Okay, amen. And so because you showed up for you and you said yes, what is some of the success that you've had as a Black woman Christian certified life coach since your training in becoming certified? Okay, this is, a, this is amazing. <laughs> like, and, and I'm giving all glory to God. I'm giving all glory to God. Um, let me um, just kind of say this, and I don't know if I mentioned it in the beginning, but five years ago, the Lord led me to, to start a Facebook online, uh, a Facebook, I call it's called Morning Confessions. Um, and it started five years ago. And every day, at, at, when I started, I was coming on every day, but now I'm doing Saturday mornings at 8.30 in the morning. And so I had that community there. I didn't think much about it, but I had that community there. And I just kept, just kept being faithful to it, kept being faithful to it. And I decided when uh, December came, I decided I felt God led me to life coaching. And so I went and took this journey and I completed. And so we contacted in December, late December, because it was Christmas time when my son came. And I finished up my certification on January the 7th. I have it here on that. On that. It's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> January the 7th. Um, I was already working on the name of my business. The, the business was uh, LLC, January the 12th. This is my, my plaque. I pushed it out to Facebook on January the 13th. I remember it specifically because my husband had surgery on the 12th. So here my husband's, husband was in the hospital, had just had major surgery. I'm at home. Holy Spirit said, push it out. I pushed it out on the 13th. My Facebook page went bananas. It went bananas. I got so many, go Andrea, so many, yes, yes, yes. Um, from that coach, uh, uh, Dr. Uh, AJ, I've had, I stopped counting at maybe 15 or 20 um, discovery calls. I've now secured eight clients and one of them is a teen client. What about you? A teen client. I have three discovery calls tomorrow. So, so just in a nutshell, I've I've made over three thousand dollars 
in two weeks. Like, who does that? Or somebody does it, I guess. I did. God did. <laughs> Amazing. I, I, I just, I can't say anything more than that. Amazing. My journey has been amazing. The great women that I've met, um, um, Dr. AJ taught us about connecting with coaches. I connected with Vanessa Green, who is a coach um, through this program as well. And she talked to me about some of the policies and procedures and things that she did. And so I put the discovery call in place, best thing I could have ever done. Um, it opened up different platforms. Uh, people are every day, just about somebody says, I want a discovery call. I want a discovery call. And God is so good that the women are not only doing the discovery call, but they are booking the service as a client and the processes that I started in the beginning, which I set up uh, in the beginning, my um, invoices and all of those things set up, they pay their deposit, hold it. I mean, it's like, it's like butter. As a matter of fact, the three that I talk to tomorrow, I'm going to have to shut the door for a second and say, okay, I got enough clients um, for right now. And I've not even been in business for a month. Oh, girl. <laughs> I am over here literally speechless with cheer, tears. See, chills and tears in my eyes. I ain't got Amazing. enough time for me to go in like I want to go. In. I am so Amazing. proud of you. I am so happy for you. I am so glad to call you one of our successes. <laughs> That is amazing. I amazing. love the series of events. I love that you are taking the tips and running with it. Like I have told almost 200 people to go do what you just described in like 60 seconds. And you are able to now put a number on how that works. You're closing almost 50% of the people that you talk to. Yes. That is unheard of for new coaches. Yes. You got your I'm, first few thousand dollars, which I can't wait to tell Coach Eric about because he loves numbers. That's my yeah, marketing yeah. mentor. So he's like, you know, let's put some numbers. So when you said those numbers, I'm like, oh, got to call Eric. That's our bread yes, growth coach. Yes. So I'm going to tell him about your story of how the breadcrumbs led you to finding out who you are and why you wanted to become oh, a coach, wow. getting the help that you needed and sticking with it, hacking the system to make sure that you finished and you discovered some stuff about yourself and now you put a price on that thing. Oh my, oh God. my God. And and the thing the, the thing that blows me away is that people are paying the price. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people we're so used are... to doing everything free. Free. You know, just <laughs> and you don't even think free costs. You don't give you people just call you, you know, you just help people and you go on about your business. But um, I think it's reasonably enough price. You were great in giving us a guideline, by the way, in our training. You gave us a guideline. You told us what's a good place to start. And I started pretty much pretty close to that. But um, from this, let me, let me share this. From this, an um, a, um, online course has been developed. I'm developing an online course from this coaching. I have a ebook from this coaching. Um, this thing is just taking on a life of its own. And I am enjoying this. And as I stated, from, from the day I went out, the 13th of January, we're just at February. What's this, the second? And in two weeks, I've cleared $3,000. In two weeks. And this is straight coaching. This is not, um, I'll take that back. I got one person that's purchased the course, but I'm doing a whole nother thing on pushing a cor course out there. Amazing. But they are responding. They are responding. And your platform, your course, your uh, how-tos, I've used them, every single one of them. I'm one of those people, I'm very to the book, right? Which is why I, I love manuals and things like that because I'm going to use them, which is why the Bible probably works for me because if, if it's in the word, I'm going to do it, right? I'm a very to the letter kind of person sometimes. And so the, the step one, step two, step three, do this, do this. I listened and it works. If you work it, it will work. 
it will work. I'm li I'm a living witness. I, I I'm on another computer, but I could you know. I could show you my deposits. And then God sent other people to show me how to do the invoices and how to push that stuff out. I had to get a website, a landing page. And that's just because I was invited to come onto a platform. And um, Purpose by Design was um, um, mentioned on that platform. And so it, it was great. It's, it's just been phenomenal. I don't, I don't even know what to say. My husband's mouth is hanging open. He's like, are you kidding me? I'm like, no. I'm not kidding you. I even have a teen. I have a teen. I have a mother who reached out to me to coach a teen. It's in my vein. I've been working with youth my whole life and a, a school counselor in a high school. Who can't coach a teen? Who? <laughs> I'm done. Oh my gosh. And so much, because people do ask that, you know, and it's funny because that's where I started out. Um, you yes. know, working with girls and moms and, and, and sure I remember a lady literally out of her lips said, you're in a market that can't pay you, but you are my proof today that yes. it's possible when you set those intentions. And I love that you said that coaching was so comfortable for you that yes. it did help you to live out literally the name of your company, Purpose by Design. And to see all of these things falling into place, like I'm sitting here still wiping tears, tell husband my mouth is wide open too, because I ain't know these numbers until just now. She's shocking me with like less than five minutes to go on this. And so I want to continue to bless you and sow seeds into you. We've added um, bonus trainings to our one day certification that now come um, with the course. You may have a few of them. I don't think you have the latest because my assistant just completed adding even more materials. She don't know, but I got more work for her, but we're going to oh, send wow. you access to those bonus trainings of how to write your next bestseller as a new coach. I want to okay. sow that seed um, because it needs, your book needs to lead to your coaching and the transformation. We also have how to create that first group coaching program to make sure that not just the team and not just the 50% of the $3,000 sales you've made now, like I said, 50, that's just half of what God can do in even quicker time. Oh, You're going to double those rates soon. And so you want to make sure everybody's getting results and building on that coaching. So now you've went from coaching one-on-one, -on -one, coaching more specific clients to now that ebook to now this group coaching program. And you are well on your way. It's so many other courses that I've thrown in to our platform for free just because people say wow. yes just because they show up, you know, it's just something that got laid on my heart as I was cleansing out the 60 plus products that I used to offer. And people would call my office saying, where do I start? Well, girl, you start with getting certified like coach Andrew. <laughs> yes. and, and then yes. you write that book, create that program, make that money. And when you look up this time next year, Ooh. you are going to be amazed at what God has done because you said yes. So real quick, any future goals or plans as a newly certified Black woman Christian life coach and also tell people where they can find you to find out what else you got going on or coming up. All right. So my future plans, um, I gave myself about a two-year goal to, um, because I do still work a full-time job. So I do, I would like my coaching business to be something that I do on a full-time basis. So that is one of my personal um, goals going into the next couple of years. Although I think I'm going to get there sooner than the two years. Um, but that's one of the things I do want to develop the courses um, that I want to be able to offer to clients. So those are the two focus fields that I have right now. Um, this youth thing is kind of you know, a little ringing a little bit in my ear um, as a possibility as well. So I'd like to do some of those things, branch off into some mentoring, um, possibly having uh, some kind of purpose by design conference and things like that. So I have a lot of things kind of in my head, uh, but I am one of those kind of people just like yourself. And God is always birthing something. And so I have to be careful that I don't take on too much 
and don't have too many balls rolling at one time. So I'm, that's, that's one of the goals that I'm working on personally. And so as I work on the, those goals, it's helping me to really focus on my business. When I get too far to the left or too far to the right, I'll be like, bring it back in focus on, you know, the here and the now. And so that's a, a challenge for me, but I'm doing pretty good with it. And I think that's why um, so much is able to be produced um, through Purpose by Design. But um, if you're looking for me, you can find me on Facebook at Purpose by Design Life Coaching. Um, you can look me up as Andrea Stone or Purpose by Design. Um, also on my Facebook page is my website. Um, I just transferred over my um, domain name. So in a couple of days, it should show up as PurposeByDesignLC.com. Ooh, I know we could keep talking. I know I want to listen more. I wish we had more time. I wish we would have booked double time. Who knew? God did. He knew. He, he knew, knew what he was doing. He, he said us up today. He said, keep this concise and to the point. So that's what we're going to do. Any final tips, tools, words of advice or wisdom for that coach that's like, girl, you have inspired me. You done said something. They done dropped their phone, maybe threw it across the room. Maybe they sitting here crying and wiping tears, mouth wide open like me. What's that one final thing and you're going to drop the mic and we're going to wrap this thing up that you would say to that future Black woman Christian life coach? Okay. My final thing is this, that from the foundation of the world, God had you on his mind. He knew. He knew you were going to come to this. He knew Dr. AJ was going to be obedient to what he said to do. And he knew you were going to come across this program. And so I say to you that this is your moment. Again, this is your time to follow your passions and follow your dreams and follow your God design. Go ahead, girl. Push the button. Get it. I'm telling you, it's the best thing. It's the best thing. Ooh, coach. Oh my God. I love you so much. I love your spirit and your story and your yes. I love to see the yes in the women of God that he is calling forth in the I kind of got muted there. I don't know if that was by accident, but go ahead. If you can hear me, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Zoom usually kicks me off the call. Can you hear me, coach? Yep, I can. Cool. Oh, so we're going to go ahead and wrap up because Zoom is trying to trip us out. But Zoom, we finished off. So thank you for hanging in there and letting us get this out. <laughs> we had a mission to complete. And I want to say well done. Thank you so much for saying yes. I love your spirit. I love your yes. Thank you for being one of our success stories. This is only the beginning. We'll definitely talk again. Our people will definitely hear from you and future success and those of your clients. So just get ready, get ready, okay? All right. All right, coach. Thank you for having me. You are welcome. And future Black woman Christian certified life coaches, head over to blacklifecoachcertification.com. Again, www.blacklifecoachcertification.com. We'll meet you there. You'll see coaches, beautiful picture, testimonial and video on the page. And remember, there's someone somewhere. They are waiting. They are waiting on you to walk in your destiny so they can walk into theirs. Because when you impact one life, you impact generations. Go ahead and let your light shine and you give others permission to do the same. I'm Dr. AJ Austin. We'll see you guys next time. God bless. Bye, y'all. Bye-bye. <laughs>